we're looking at here in today's video is the uh, Tesla semi-prototype production line facility at 550 Milan Avenue. And the video that we're looking at was taken during a, a town hall where they discussed the changes in the um, initial $3.6 billion plan to the uh, separate standalone building that is currently under construction for high volume semi-production. But that's not what today's video is about. Today is talking about um, the existing semi-production line. And some observations that I have and I'd like to share with you are that the, um, the uh, these, these observations are from the, uh, what we saw at the Pepsi delivery event. Uh, the semi-production lines run east to west at the 550 Milan Avenue building, which is adjacent to, but just outside of the Gigafactory Nevada. There were two lines spanning the narrow length of the leased building. This is a fairly short assembly line. I'm guessing there were maybe five or six stations more about those stations, I think it's important to talk about the supply chain for the Tesla Semi. And as it is today, the vast majority of the Tesla Semi is built, is currently built using supplier parts. They, Tesla itself does not, is not very vertically driven currently. And uh, what we're looking at now is some of the production line. And you'll see various pictures of the production line. Um, Tesla currently builds at least the Plaid motors, the attached inverters, the world-class heat pump, the battery packs, albeit with 2170 cells that are sourced from either Panasonic or LG, and the two screens that are, we're familiar with in every Tesla. And in the semi, there's two of them. They may build wiring harnesses, seats, steering wheels, and a few other components. Everything else relies on suppliers, and the supply chain may have been a big reason for the generally consensus slow tier, uh, slow um, assembly production of the prototype line up to the, the number that were delivered to Pepsi and to, Tepsi, to Tesla itself. So my thinking is tier one suppliers are unlikely to be interested in small scale orders as is currently required by that low number of Tesla semis that have been built to date. Tesla doesn't want to order large volumes until the design is mature and until the high volume production is ramping. They can't store all of those parts and therefore they're dealing with second and third tier suppliers. The semi production line may consist of a few opportunities for automation. Um, if you think about the assembly line, as we've seen in this um, video, as you look back through this video, if you watch it a second time, you'll see that it's a fairly simple process. First, we assemble the frame rails to form a box structure. Then we install the axle and main cases. Then we install wheels and tires, wiring, hydraulic lines, the battery pack, the separately assembled cab, and then rock and roll. So you can see it's a fairly short assembly line. And the reason that's relevant is between now and the high volume production, I think it's very likely that Tesla could, could reinitiate the um, prototype production line and rather than having two, they could easily add three, four, or five, three more to, for a total of five production lines and then end up producing a modest number of Tesla semis well before the um, production, the high volume building is ready and, and ramped. That's um, the information I have to share today. Hope you find it helpful and uh, thanks for tuning in.